Okay, 7 o'clock, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. Note that uh, Don Studnicka is absent today. Um, old business, approval of minutes. The regular meeting minutes of May 20th, 2021 were provided for review. Need a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of May 20, 2021 as presented. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. Call the roll. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major. Yes. Motion passed. New business. Audience participation. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the council on an item that is not on the agenda? Oh, I have one. All right. Had to check. Presentations. Items for council consideration. Temporary special uh, event permit. Lansing Independence Day's event. The staff was contacted by Embrace the Grape adult beverage truck about selling their products at the Lansing Independence Day's event. Staff confirmed with Kansas Alcohol Beverage Control that licensing and permits would be required. Embrace the Grape has a Kansas caterer's license and per city code, the governing body must grant authorization for the company to sell their product at an event. If authorized to do so, Embrace the Grape will complete the permit process with the state. I need a motion to approve the temporary special event permit to authorize Embrace the Grape of Kansas LLC to sell their beer, wine, and alcoholic beverages at the Lansing Independence Day event. So Any discussion? Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yeah, I just have a question. I know that they initially said Leavenworth County didn't have anybody, and you were going to go see if one of the local bars could do it. Did they come back and say no? or did they, they did not, but they do have to have a caterer's license, and oh, there okay. is some time and cost into that. So okay. with this timing, it didn't quite fall into place. Um, so I have had that discussion, and that may be something we can do in the future. Okay. Um, I was just curious because yeah. we nope. talked about it last time. Absolutely. Right, thank you. Question, has, has alcohol been sold? I'm sorry. Oh, wow, okay. All right. Has alcohol been sold uh, in the past at the uh, 4th of July? It, yes. Go ahead, Tim. I believe it's been sold at Lansing Days before. I'm not positive about the 4th of July, but I know we kind of merged Lansing Days with the fireworks, mm -hmm. so that's why we were thinking about doing this. Is, is that your understanding yep. as well, Sarah? Correct. Yeah, well, thank you. So I got a question. It says it be sold out of a truck. Are they going to have more than one or two people doing the, or are we going to have a line that's 100 to 200 people back? Trying to get a red cup solo here. What what, so what, they, what are they selling? Cups or cans or bottles? So or? they have a list of things they kind of provided to <laughs> Matt and I, just kind of a mock up of what they were thinking. Um, obviously, it hasn't been finalized, but this is something. This is what their company does on the regular basis. They cater weddings. Um, they do large events. So this is not something that they are under prepared for. We gave them an idea of what we were thinking attendance could be. Um, so they will have the appropriate staff on hand to handle the, the need. Thank you. Our, our PD will still be somewhat involved in this too, Correct. Not, yes. like we always have been. Yes. Okay. Any other discussion? Call the roll. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brunkert? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Motion passed. Item three is approval of bid for K7 and Eisenhower traffic signal polls. Bids were solicited for the traffic signal poles and other equipment for the K7 Eisenhower project due to the possible lengthy lead time in receiving the equipment. This cost is part of the overall construction cost that will be shared by Lansing, Leavenworth, and KDOT. I need a motion to approve the award of bid for traffic signal poles and equipment to Gaddis Sales Company, Inc., in the amount not to exceed $81,406. So moved. Second. Second. You got a motion and a second. Any questions for so Mike? That's, that's just our half of the pool. Our, I don't know what question. No. Um, the cost of the polls will be borne by the formula that has been signed by the Kansas Department of Transportation and the MOU between Leavenworth and Lansing. The cost for Lansing 
is approximately ten thousand eight hundred and fifty four dollars and sixty eight cents for this particular person. Well, I mean, we're not going to argue over who's putting a pole to, on whose property or anything. I mean, it no, is, no, we don't know where everything's going to go. And yes, it's it, all it's all a gentleman's agreement. Then. Well, it's, it's more so than that. It's a formal agreement between yeah. the cities and the state. Anyone else? Here we have a motion and a second call and roll. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Thanks, Mike. Uh, item number four is fence request for 412 Caraway Place. The property owner wishes to replace an existing fence that is within the platted uh, side setback. Staff have, have reviewed the request and find no conflicts with adjoining site triangles, easements, or road right away. I need a motion to approve the fence request for 412 Carway Place. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Okay, motion passed. Item number five is ordinance number 1062, UDO tax amendment, apiaries. An amendment to the UDO has been submitted that would allow property zoned A1 to have apiaries with some restrictions based on acreage. For parcels larger than five acres, this would be allowed without review. But for parcels smaller than five acres, this would require an approval of a conditional use permit. The Planning Commission met on May 19, 2021 and voted unanimously to approve the text amendment. I need a motion to approve and adopt ordinance number 1062. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yeah, I got a question. Go ahead, Marcus. All right. So we're talking about acreage of five acres or, or more. It would not need to come in uh, requesting permission. Right. The question, though, is, is is there anything that's out there that prohibits me from having five acres, but I put my bees right up next to his fence line or his property line where maybe his house or his dwellings are? Is there anything like that? Is there any discussion about that? Or we just say, you got five acres or more, you can put bees where you want them. I mean, that's, that's the one thing that I'd be concerned about. Yeah. We've never done it before. I'm just asking. Talking about like a buffer in between the property yeah. line and the bees, right? Yeah, right. yeah, because that's the one thing. It's like <clears throat> anything greater than five acres, I can put it, and now I've got you know Marcus against Jesse with my bees yeah. all over his property line, and he's got dogs, horses, and you know what I'm saying? It's like that. That would not be good. You know, I'm not. I'm not sure if that came up during the planning commission. I didn't discussion. read. I didn't read it I in the discussion. That, I didn't, no. Yeah, I know where it came up. The think how this uh, started it was it was a property that was in city limits but it was 20 acres yep. and I know that gentleman reached out to us and you know we, we were trying to think of some number where you know it, it obviously makes sense for someone with 20 acres to be able to put bees on their property especially if they're on the fringe of, of the city um, but I'm not sure if they discussed if there is some type of buffer I don't know if that would I guess they're not permanent, so it wouldn't be a setback the way it would a shed or, or something like that. Um, We'd have to look at like where in the city do we have adjoining, you know, lot right. acreages that yeah. would that would apply Let's, to. How many acres was the property off of West Mary? Remember the guy who wanted the apiary? Yeah. The, was it three? Yeah, no, that, that one was. That one is quite a bit. I right. I would bet that's over five. I think. Okay. I think it had something to do with the bus price, if I remember. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yep. I think this one was on 147. Um, yeah, this one was on 147. <laughs> yeah. But I, I I, don't have the answer to your question if there's some type of buffer they discussed or anything like that. I'll, I'll I mean, tell we you, can, a, we can that always... is a good question, and I can give you an example. My brother and sister-in-law are building, wanting to build a house, and they're running in, it's out in the county, and they're running into an issue like this. That's kind of, they're having to redo their thinking of where they want their house because of something like this. So okay. I think it's... Well, do we want to table it and ask the question? Yeah, I think we can Matt, table it. Yeah. Matt, re look at it? Who seconded that? Girl. I withdraw my motion 
and move that we buffer it, table it, table it sorry, uh, and go back to the Planning Commission <laughs> and ask if there is a buffer distance from other properties that they need to be. Or maybe suggest there be one. Or suggest there be one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, do you, you got a second? I do not. Well, second. second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to table. Correct. Call the roll. Mr. Gerby? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. <coughs> motion passed. Report, City Attorney? Other report. Tim? Nothing. Nothing. Any department heads? No. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Okay, we'll start with Jesse. Uh, I just would like to say uh, I've been to the club car wash twice now, once with my wife's SUV and once with my pickup, and I can guarantee you that I will be buying a membership there. They do a great job there. I mean, I came out crystal clean with both vehicles, and my truck's hard to get clean, honestly. So uh, I recommend that people uh, actually go get the dollar car wash because it's well worth it, that's for sure. How long are they doing that for? Huh? How long are they doing that? They the won't dollar? tell you how long they're doing it for, so it's going to be a surprise when they stop. The sixth. <laughs> what I read yeah. earlier is that what yes, okay. and uh, it looks like a uh, harbor freight's really coming along the grounds being broken so great progress on that so but that's all I got I'm going to the car wash tomorrow and on this day Ed White a crew member of Gemini 4 performed the first American spacewalk in 1965 and that's all I have Mayor. Uh, Greg do you have anything <laughs> no mayor I don't okay <laughs> thanks Greg Ron uh, nothing from me I like this at work. Okay. I have nothing, Mayor. Thanks, Gary. Dave? Mike, if uh, on the corner of, uh, I guess it'd be Eisenhower and 7th, there's the uh, congestion of cars. There's I, it, it happened once before, and back in me and my cohort here had to, got the police department. There has been a couple of wrecks due to the because they're parking right on the corners, and they come up and they can't see to get out. And, I mean, there's cars. I, I think Steve remembers where they're at, right there on the corner of 7th. And, is there a, a, an ordinance where you can say so close or so far away from? Uh, I think there already is, because I think. Well, there's no I sign. Actually, well, I know, yeah. but there's not a sign for every ordinance either. But, <laughs> but I think they actually it. What he's referring to is that they actually went out and talked to the people and painted a line on the yeah. street. Well, the, the 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 neighbors are getting the neighbors are restless again. I mean, there's they're parking five or six cars in the driveway on the, on the one one corner, plus three or four on the corner, plus three or four on, on the other house across the street, plus four in the driveway there. There's a, almost two dozen vehicles parked right around that corner. And sometimes in the morning or at night, you come up around the corner <laughs> to turn to go on down 7th Street. You turn your head, head on to a car coming up the street because there's, there's one parked there already. I mean, it, it, I don't know if they could look at that, see what we do. I mean, yeah, we probably might have to do something like we did on holiday. See, when we, I mean, can a, can a fire truck get through there? Okay. Fire truck couldn't get through there last night if they had to turn the corner. Right. And it, and it was the same one on top of the hill there when you come out of the trailer park, come up on 4th Street. And then we, we marked that off. Remember, when that was Mr. Blackwell was involved in that. And they put no parking, and they stopped the cars from parking coming up the hill. Because you'd meet a car coming. You'd be coming up the hill, and there's somebody coming down the hill. And, and when that, that took care of that. I just wonder if there's just something we can do about that because it's – the problem's back again. We'll, we'll look at it. That'll do it, sir. Dean. Uh, I don't have anything. I've been to the car worse than I have two memberships. So. <laughs> all right. Nice. Yeah. So, well, they do a really good job. So, that's all I have. Thanks, Gene. Marcus. Yeah. Hey, I just want to say thanks to, to all of you, Tim, and the city, and the staff. Great job on working with bringing in the businesses. The 10 and 2 coffee shop, pretty excited about that. I'm watching that blow up all over social media. The car wash opening, the ribbon cutting ceremony, I believe, was uh, last week or? 
Is it post- we haven't done it yet. I know right. the mutual savings ribbon cutting was yesterday. And the car wash was- one was postponed because yeah. of all the rain. Rain. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's, it's exciting in Lansing, but the business is coming. And so thanks, Tim, to you and all of your staff and the mayor. Thanks for uh, for working hard on getting us some more businesses here within Lansing. And with that, Mayor, I move that we adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. Call roll. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes.